now the rbi what is rbi as we discussed in the previous part of the lesson that the rupee is recognized by the government of india as a valid currency the body which guides the government of india to formulate the rules and regulations on the making of the currency is the rbi rbi is nothing but the reserve bank of india rbi stands for reserve bank of india the reserve bank of india is a bank which formulates all the rules and regulations of currency validity and issue of the notes coins uh, establishment of the banks setting of the rules and regulations for the establishment of the banks all these things are guided to the government of india by reserve bank of india so rbi plays a very very vital role in issuing of the currencies and as well as in issuing of the notes also and in india as government of india also made the rules like laws which are legally making it valid that issuing of the currency which is issued by the rbi must be validated in the entire settlement of india in the indian land the accepted valuable currency is rupee rupee cannot be rejected by anybody legally in india if anybody tries to reject the settlement of rupee in india he is liable for punishment in india the valid currency recognized is rupee this rupee is valid in india because it is recognized legally and laws are also made that anybody violating or not recognizing indian rupee in transactions in day to day transactions in the country are liable for punishment so nobody can reject accepting the money from one person to another person in rupees at this stage so that's why it is very very important and very valid legally so legal laws are justifying the validity of money validity of money in india that is rupee the symbol of rupee is rupee now not like this it is gone down like this now deposits with the banks money will be deposited in the banks the banks have two types of deposits bank is a place where you go and deposit your amount there you go and make your settlements there bank is a place where you go and put your amount there at a particular place and come banks are the places which are highly validated to get your payments done through banks you can go there and put your valuable amount in the bank and deposit and save it in your name so that whenever you need you can take it back so banks after collecting the deposits from the people and safeguarding them 15 percentage of the entire deposits are been kept allotted with the bank only because on any working day of the bank any of the depositor can come back and collect the money amount what he requires so when he requires something it is very very important for others to do help for him and that to bank's responsibility is whenever he needs bank should be in a position to return his money back because depositor has brought the money to deposit the money in the bank like to put it in a safe place and also whenever he needs that should be repaid back to him on that condition only depositors would come and deposit money and go so this depositor has come deposit the money and went so in his process of depositing the money and going he has started a new method so 15 percentage of the entire income what they get that is being stored in the banks itself and the rest of the 85 percent has been given in the form of loans or credits to the other people at very high rate of interest and earn extra income and that income is being shared to the people as a profit or interest rates for the people those who have deposited their money in the banks other than this we can also deposit money in the banks through checks what is a check 
C H E Q U E check check is a paper check is a paper which is asking the banker to pay certain amount to a particular individual it can be any person it can be your friend your relative or for whom you need to pay certain amount you can write a check on a bank check and then give that check to that person this person is authorized to get money from my account it is a legal document which you are giving to that person saying or requesting the bank to pay certain amount for him from your account money which you are paying for him so check is a form of deposit as well as check is a form of withdrawal you can deposit money instead of carrying the entire money you can deposit your money using the check you can write a check amount and you can deposit it there at the same time you can also withdraw it from there now we have dis discussed about the checks the checks is a mode of payment which you can request the bank to pay certain amount of money to an individual or to yourself or to any of your relatives or you can also deposit the money by using your checks you can also withdraw yourself by using the checks check is a paper document which is framed to allow the bank requesting the bank to allow them to pay certain amount to them now in this modern forms of currency what we have discussed is the currency how the currency got validated earlier we had gold coins silver coins and copper coins but this gold silver and copper though they are not coins of currency also they have their own value because they are made from metals but the modern day currency is a paper currency and rupee note or rupee coins these paper currency or the coins are also having some kind of problems because these coins are actually the coins which are not made of gold silver or copper and these are not valid other than their currency they will become invalid if they are not currency these are made validated by the government of india so that's why we are using this one as a legal currency and this guidelines to make the currency and issuing the notes issuing of the banking guidelines and everything are given to the government of india by reserve bank of india known as rbi the rbi has its head office at mumbai and this rbi came into existence on 1935 so it has established pre independence period only and now this rbi has legalized the usage of the currencies through the government of india by making laws which are validating the usage of the currency and now when we talk about the legal usage of the currency any person in india cannot reject the validity of a currency note in india because it is valid and it has to be legally bound by all the people in india to accept the transactions in the rupee so if anyone is not validating it or accepting the currency he is bound to get legally imprisoned or punishments so definitely it is made as a law of the land that rupee is to be validated in every corner of india that's why legal laws made a special provision to validate our currency and then deposits with banks we can deposit our money in the bank in two ways one is directly go and deposit your amount there and you can get back your money whenever you need but when you deposit the money in the banks 15% of the depositors money has been kept at the bank itself and the rest will be shared as loans or credit to the people and earn more profits so that the income of the people who are depositing their money will get more interest in the same manner we also have checks these checks also pay deposits they also check is a paper document which is requesting the bank to pay certain amount to an individual by your friend your relative or any of your neighbor so this validation is highly important and all these things will be validating for them and finally check is of very useful even for you to withdraw your own amount or to transfer any amount from your account to anybody else amount without much time so a legal document not only the paper currency but a legal currency which is on paper is check so check is also very very important in a check we have various numbers first you need to write the name of the person 
for whom you are paying the amount or for what you are withdrawing the amount like for example for your yourself you are taking you can write self and then next the amount how much amount do you need to withdraw or to pay for them and third your check number will be there automatically given by the check book itself account number and the bank name will be there code will be mentioned and below that you have a check number a six digit check number will be mentioned there and six digit check number is very very important that gives a sequence of the check number and then the barcode of the check also will be mentioned just aside the six digit number of the check number so this is how the check looks and it is a legal document and if you do not uh, fulfill the needs of the check for example you deposited some amount and you did not pay the amount in time for your check to get dispersal then automatically you will be attracting legal penalties on that because that person whom you ready promised by a check that you will pay an amount but you did not pay that amount he can move to a court and get you legal implications on that that why you did not fulfill your promise so it's a legal document we have to be very careful when we are giving a check if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus